This is my dad's final house. He's been a builder for 30 years. This is kind of the culmination of his career. And he wanted to obviously make the house zero energy because that's what we specialize in building. This has always been my favorite spot. The view is tremendous. It's just right for the sun. It fits perfectly for an energy home. And I said, I'm gonna build my final home on this spot. So I knew it was gonna be something special. This is gonna be their dream house. Finally, Paul has built that house that he's been talking about for a number of years. I'm passionate about building energy homes. The environment comes out winning because these are basically carbon neutral. They cause no pollution. We have family in Finland, who, you know, we visit them and their energy is a lot more expensive there. So they have to build more efficiently. And the Germans and the Swedes and the Finns were so much further ahead in the technology. They were using air source heat pumps way before we were. Standard construction there is triple pane windows. You know, they're all super inside. So we saw what they were doing over there and tried to incorporate that. And when we came back, we started building these homes. There isn't enough air exchange in a traditional built home. In our homes, we have heat recovery ventilation system. The air exchanger will give us a complete air exchange every three hours. And you're also able to filter the air coming in from pollen, dust, and other environmental fluids. Homes like these are definitely cost effective. So on a monthly basis, you're saving money right off the bat. We acted as the HERS Raiders and the Energy Star for Homes Certification Company. In this home, excluding the effect of the renewables, the HERS index was 30, which is exceptionally good. So once you get it down to a certain point, then by adding photovoltaic solar systems, you can further reduce that HERS index all the way down to zero. And then after taking into account the renewable systems, the HERS index dropped all the way down to minus nine. So we have two systems going, PV for electrical, thermal, solar for the hot water, floor radiant heating, and pool heating. The thermal energy will be heating the hot water for both the apartment and the main house. They're also gonna heat the concrete slab in the lower level, and that heat will transfer throughout the house because hot air rises. What I'd like to do with this house is use it as a home to demonstrate the energy features to high school students, college students, whoever. If I can teach them the possibilities in energy, they'll be better consumers in the future. Energy, I think, is going to become, you know, more and more expensive as, as the years go, and we'd like our homes to still be livable down the road when, when energy is more expensive. Every decision we make on choosing a product or a method, we're looking at cost effectiveness. If it is not affordable to the general public, it will never become a norm. And my intent is to make these homes a norm, and if I can't make it affordable, we won't sell them. All the homes that are built for now on that are built like this, you know, prevents them from building another power plant or looking for more uh, sources to produce the power. Everybody comes out a winner. People save money, the environment is better, and it's healthier. Those are the three reasons I, I'm passionate about these homes. I think the Connecticut Zero Energy Challenge and having Eversource behind us adds a legitimacy to these zero energy homes. To a lot of people it is kind of unbelievable that you can have a home that not only produces as much energy as it consumes, but actually produces more energy it consumes over the course of the year. I've always cared about the environment. I want to do my part, showing people what I've learned and pass it on and make the world a better place. Um, that's my intent.